how to stop worrying about binging and the potential impacts of long-term binging on health. I don't necessarily think it's wrong to worry about the impact of that because it's probably, as long as it's supportive to you in terms of like making your behavior change, I wouldn't say you have to be like, no, I don't care about it at all. But if it's preventing you from taking action, that would be different, right? And then again, we come back to that. Are we criticizing ourselves about it or are we using it to support ourselves in a direction if it's more about like it's taking up a lot of this person's mental energy and they'd rather be putting that mental energy into something else or like starting to move away from spending so much time ruminating on it that's where we might do something like taking their core values and sometimes what I'll have my clients do if they're trying to actively spend more headspace on other things is like write out like their three to five core values for right now and then next to each one like write down one little action they could take over the next week that would dedicate more headspace to that value and then we'll like tick them off during the week and sure they're probably still going to spend some time thinking about binging or yeah health impact or whatever it is that's been taking up tons of mental health space if you could orient yourself towards things you want to be thinking about and taking actions that help support that I think that could be a nice way to shift away from having all of your headspace dominated by it